Hey, this is Mirblomp, and this is Mirblomp Builds, and today I am going to be building this house here, because why not? And I've got to decide right now where I want to put the doors, so I think this house is probably going to be similar to those ones, so actually let's build in this plot, and uh, I'll build this one off camera, because it's going to be identical to the ones I've built over there. So I'll decide the door for this one. It'll be right here. Mm, yeah, that's how I want to do it. So I'll have like I'm planning on having like maybe a separate room here. It's gonna be two story tall, and uh, bedroom's gonna be upstairs. There's gonna be like a living room, a stairwell, kind of in the same spirit of the other ones I've built so far. I do intend to eventually build. Uh, some larger houses, you know, that have more than just one bedroom. Like two to three bedrooms. They'll have maybe more stuff, like a reading room. Although I, I don't have bookshelves at the moment. I need to start a reed farm to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and time lapse me building this house. And here we go. <laughs> building this house. It was a little bit more uh, effort than I thought it was going to be, but that's okay because uh, I think it turned out looking very good. Might be the best house I've built on this town yet, I think. And 
I did change my mind about which door, where the door was going to be because I decided to go with this, uh, ex this extending window vista pattern. And, uh, because I realized I didn't want, I was getting too content uh, building these square rectangular surfaced houses. I realized I need to, uh, get a little bit of asymmetricality in here, although this house did end up being fairly symmetrical. And, uh, I realized, like, this upstairs had an awful lot of space, so I built these, uh, chest racks here. And a kind of vaulted ceiling, like I usually do. A little bit different. I wanted to make a table here, but just regular blocks like that were just too tall. So I've got a, a strange little table here. And I would like to uh, start building proper fireplaces for uh, these houses, but I kind of... I always overlook build, adding uh, fireplaces and chimneys to the design of the houses. So, I mean, this is the fireplace. And I need to really get on getting uh, a reed farm going so I can add stuff like uh, bookcases. And I could do paintings as well. I think it's. I think paintings uses wool. You know, uh, eight sticks in a wool. I'm pretty sure. So I should probably start adding paintings too, but I think it looks pretty nice, that house. Uh, the only thing left I need to do, I don't know why I came back to this house. But I just need to put the sign, and this is, oh, I don't even have a name for this street yet, this is going to be 3rd Street, so I'll actually need three more, uh, two more signs, and I, uh, there are, like, there must be a cave beneath me or something, I'll try and illuminate cave below me, I think, to get rid of those spider noises, although you guys don't really have to deal with that so much. I did have to deal with it, zombie and spider noises, as I was building this. Uh, square street, and third street. Okay. I think that's right, square street, and that's second street. So this house is going to be, st uh, is it on third or square? Well, since it's, it's on third. Uh, I forgot the, how I named the formula for which I named the houses on this one. Okay, so it's just the name of the street, the residence, and then the town. So this should be 3rd Street, 1A, 3rd Street, 1A, Town of Mirgloff. There we go. And that is this house. Uh, also, I did sort of a... Uh, I was going to do like a lead-in like I have been doing for the other houses, but it's too long and it looked awkward coming from a three wide to just a one wide going here so I decided to go with cobble stepping stones which doesn't look bad really and as the grass grows it'll look a lot better um, if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up this house is available so if you want me to change uh, the sign I'll put whatever name you want on here, it'll just be, you know, X's house, and, you know, 3rd Street 1A, and I'll get rid of the town name, but all you have to do to get that is to leave a comment below saying that you want this house, and thank you for watching. I'm going to go to the next one.
Thank you.